Hi, my name is Richard Denton. I'm an advisor for Denton Physiotech, and I'm also the brother of Karis Hansett, who is the founder of Denton Physiotech. About five years ago, I injured my leg during a, a fairly innocuous footballing incident. Following the injury, uh, I, I re-injured my leg about three or four times and ultimately decided that I'd had enough and I wanted to, to get it fixed properly. So knowing that I'd have to wait quite a long time on the NHS in the UK, decided that I would go to Romania to get the operation done. Obviously, this was quite daunting at the time, but I was reassured that the quality of surgery in Romania would be fantastic in their private hospitals and completely found that to be true. I went to Romania, had the surgery within a week and then started my recovery. As part of this recovery, I was introduced to a company called Reflex. Um, my sister being a physiotherapist, um, obviously I was quite interested in the, the rehabilitation process and so was she. So following the introduction of Reflex, which was these 3D sensors, um, as you'll see later in the, uh, the presentation, which allowed for the physio to understand the, the flexion within my leg, but really importantly for me, meant that I was adhering to the process, meant that I had some accountability uh, both to the physiotherapist and to the orthopedic surgeon, and also gave me confidence that I was making, making progress in my rehabilitation. After the introduction to the reflex sensors, I asked my sister what the equivalent was in the UK. And she said that there wasn't a lot of technology out there and that the options for technology in rehabilitation were quite limited. This got us really excited. I was really excited by the product. I was really enjoying using it. Um, and as a result, you know, we decided to start a, a company and, and to effectively distribute these sensors into the UK. We decided to take this risk because we were in a position where we were, we were able to. I had experience as, as a business owner. Um, my father was an accountant. My sister, being a physiotherapist, had a lot of contacts within the um, NHS and physiotherapy world. And bringing in Josh um, was the best move we've ever made because he's pretty much able to do everything and it's really driven, driven the company on. So it was a bit of a, an unknown getting into the medical sales world and certainly an eye opener in terms of how to deal with the NHS and the public sector and also uh, private um, hospitals and, and physiotherapists. But it certainly has been a fantastic experience. Um, there has been a lot of ups and downs. Uh, we're still um, pressing on. We're, um, we're incredibly close to getting into the NHS procurement. We've got a number of trials running, as you'll hear later on. Um, things are really looking good for, for 2021, and we feel that it's a perfect time for these sensors. Um, given the current situation, where it's much more difficult for uh, patients to attend in-person in physiotherapy sessions and travel to the hospitals or physiotherapy centres, um, we do feel that this is a fantastic adjunct to the um, to assist physiotherapists and doctors um, in, improve the overall rehabilitation process, not to take away from the, the amazing work that physiotherapists do. Um, Karis being a physiotherapist is, is adamant that it's not a case of replacing physios, it's really about assisting them with technology, giving them more data, more information about, about the patients um, and creating a consistent approach to rehabilitation. Firstly, thank you for taking the time to join our webinar this evening. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to introduce you to the product and describe how this technology not only powers your patients to improve their rehabilitation at home, but allows you to remotely follow their progress and improve outcomes. I know we're all so busy right now, and particularly during the past year with a COVID pandemic, it's been difficult for everyone to re manage patients remotely. So this technology is more relevant than ever. You've heard a little bit about the company already, and the aim is to provide you with the most up-to-date technology that is accessible both to the NHS and your patients, and for it to be cost effective. I'm sure you'll agree, we live in very challenging times right now. The world population is aging. Stats show that for the first time ever, the number of five-year-olds is actually smaller than the number of 65-year-olds. This leads to an increased demand in chronic health conditions, especially hip and arthrosis, for example, that require rehabilitation. The NHS 
is under significant pressure to improve efficiency and productivity with a range of protocols to enhance patient recovery. The introduction of the enhanced recovery after surgery protocol has reduced length of stay in hospitals for sure. But the time for post-surgical inpatient rehabilitation has got a lot smaller and in same turn increased the need for guidance for patients on rehabilitation at home. But there are of course many challenges to this and I'm sure you all agree. Traditionally patient adherence to recommended home physio protocols is generally poor. Their lack of time, failure remember, to remember how to do the exercises and a limited understanding of even how the programme makes them feel better. Patient participation is often intermittent. Even if they are doing the exercises, we have no way of proving what they are doing is actually what we've asked them to do. And more and more people work longer hours, work away from home. So actually attending any physiotherapy sessions can be very, very difficult. All this at a time when there is actually a shortage of physiotherapists in many areas. So I'm sure you agree there is a significant burden and a challenge. Financial resources are also very limited and always will be. Even if successive governments manage to squeeze out additional funding, this challenge will always be there. So it's in everyone's interest to find innovative ways to bring relief to our beloved NHS and underfunded health service. Many health concerns, such as rising obesity rates, as you know, all lead to future health complications, not to mention the impact that this has on the mental health of patients and their quality of life. These factors are becoming more and more of a focus as we move towards value-based healthcare. COVID-19 has brought about so many challenges. Patients are being kept out of hospital. People, especially the elderly, are wanting to stay away from hospital because of the risk of infection. And in turn, hospitals don't want large numbers of people there unless it's for crucial um, or essential injuries. So how can we help relieve these mentioned pressures and provide better outcomes to um, help our patients? This is where we believe that our solution comes in. So the three-dimensional motion sensor technology will allow your patients to complete their physiotherapy at home and provides a way for you to remotely monitor their progress to achieve good results. So you can see here on the slide, the device straight out of the box. There are essentially two parts. Firstly, the sensors, these are 3D and capable of accurately detecting 12 motion metrics. Secondly, the communication interface, which is the app, which will collect the data and interpret the clinically relevant information. The kit comes with three adjustable straps, all different lengths, a charging wire and plug. I can guarantee you the sensors are really, really easy to use. They can be placed randomly above and below the joint, so the patient doesn't have to fix them in a specific position, which is far less hassle for them. It's easy to use. The mobile app receives the information wirelessly from the sensors using a using complex movement algorithm, um, but then provides real-time visualization of the injured limb um, just on the smartphone device. Super easy. The patient app itself, you can see some screenshots here in the picture. Uh, so this is what it will look like for the patient on a day-to-day -day basis. It displays the steps in real time, shows adherence to the exercise program, the three-dimensional view of the leg, as you can see here, is a real value to visualize the range of motion and how accurately they are actually performing the exercises. It'll also keep them on track and will prompt them if they have missed anything. Patients really then become very much accountable uh, for their improvement um, and also adherence to the program. As you know, big thing is transparency um, for the process to you, uh, physicians, and uh, for other carers to monitor their pro progress in real time. You can communicate with a patient through the app by messaging, and you can, without limits, customize the training program to suit each patient's needs. We are able to treat both hip and knee conditions, both preventatively, preoperatively, and postoperatively.
So this is Reflex. The patient has a username and login, and there's a nice simple user interface, and it's really easy to use, even for those who are not so tech savvy. Reflex then takes you through the calibration process. To connect the sensors, they're placed one above the knee and one below, but this doesn't need to be specific, just tight enough so that they don't slip down whilst exercising. And for hip and knee patients, the sensors are placed in the same place for both. The sensors are connected one at a time and connect via Bluetooth. You can see here when not training or whilst initialising the sensors, the patient and physio can review the previous days or weeks and then also see the days or weeks ahead for their training programme. Both the physio and the patient can see their training schedule each day and how much they've completed. There's a database of over 80 exercises which have all been chosen due to their evidence base. For those with hip conditions or post-op restrictions, you don't need to bend greater than 90 degrees to calibrate. It's a simple process as well, which gets easier the more you do it. Keep your knee straight, then press the button. Three, two, one. It's your turn now. To calibrate the sensors, the patient flexes their hip as shown. This again gets easier as patients get used to it and this can be completed in lying or standing depending on the exercise. Well done. Hip flexion standing. One. The sensors measure range of movement accurately and within 4% of the Vicon system, which is known as the gold standard. Um, as you move, the avatar mirrors your movement and corrects form as needed. Three. The patient can adjust speed and skip exercises and with some of our protocols they can even choose an Lift easier or off. harder setting. Five. Exercise almost finished. The patient is also encouraged to strengthen the unaffected leg as appropriate. A visual analogue scale is taken at the end of each exercise to monitor pain levels. This data is stored and again, the physio can see this in real time. Patients really like this because they can monitor their progress over time and physios can use this for uh, proms and prems.
At the end of the day, the patient can go back and finish any exercises that they haven't completed yet, or if they log in and out, they can complete another set. Reflex will record any extra training they do. Both the physio and patient can see each day how much has been done. An email with the data set can then be sent to consultants or clinicians for their records. Reflex has a text messaging system which allows the patient and the physio to communicate regularly. My name's uh, Colin Brown. Uh, I'm a former Royal Marine uh, teacher, uh, and outdoor, very, very active, rugby, all sorts of uh, expeditions, trekking all, all over the world, basically. Um, and uh, that's what, what I, I do, and that's the life I've led. Uh, and this is where it's brought me into pain. So I was being given physio, all good, but I, we didn't actually know, I didn't actually know exactly what the problem was. And it was for a period of time that was causing a lot of frustration and a lot of um, anger um, about not knowing what's going on. And then obviously with the situation with the COVID came in, uh, that prolonged it. Uh, and then we didn't know what was going to happen when I was going to get a, to see a person. I was given, you know, uh, time spans of 18 to two years for an operation. So you can imagine that was playing on my mind. Uh, I lost work. Um, so yeah, it was affecting me not only physically, but it, uh, particularly mentally as well. Yeah. And financially, and financially as well. It became more disciplined by, you know, I was doing more, I was doing the exercises every day. But I knew because I couldn't get to my physio, which was like once every fortnight, uh, and then it was reliable on me. You would drift, you would do the exercises some days, other days you wouldn't, you'd do something different. And, but there was no consistency, no, no rhythm, no routine. Um, whereby, since I've been using the reflex, um, it's given me um, you know, that opportunity to have regular, knowing there's a physio there for me. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's completely different because in that before I did it, I, I wasn't sure what to do mm -hmm. uh, in relation of a relieving the pain, uh, being more mobile on what I can do physically, exercise wise, and then obviously mentally, mm -hmm. uh, it helped in, in 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 that area there. So yeah, there's been a change, and it's a bit of change for the good because I feel that my attitude is is that. Um, I train for the operation. Mm -hmm. I don't train, you know, afterwards to get fit after I've had the operation. I'm training to be operated on. I've been doing my own exercise. Uh, Nordic, I, I like Nordic walking, so I've been able to do that, carry on, do my five 30 minute sessions out yesterday, you know, just so I'm still able to, to do some form of exercise. My medication uh, has been reduced. I'm only taking Cocodamol uh, maybe once, twice, uh, well, well, maybe once a day sometimes, and then I'm naproxen once in the morning. So I'm not reliant on, on them. It's been an important part of, 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 of the process for me. Uh, and certainly because I, you know, I used to go and book my appointments at the physio department, I would go uh, and I'd have my physio, I'd have an hour. I mean, but there would be six, six days, seven days, 10 days be between treatments. Mm -hmm. uh, and between, and in, the, in that time, you could be down, you could be a little bit, you know, feeling I'm in a bad day. But with this, you strap it on and then you just get, get work.
Hi, my name is John Bilton. I am 34 years old and I tore my ACL playing football about 18 months ago. I've been using, uh, I had my operation to reconstruct my ACL about three months ago. And since then I've been using the reflex technology from Denton Tech to aid me in my rehab. And looking back now, after about three months of rehab, I think the main reflections that I have in terms of the ways that the technology has assisted me with that rehab is uh, in a couple of ways. And so the most obvious way one for me is just motivation. Um, I think one of the things that I, I encountered the first couple of weeks is uh, a real reticence to get involved in the rehab because it's painful, it's difficult, it's tough. And yeah, having something uh, that allowed me to set um, kind of simple targets uh, and also be able to send instant feedback to a physio was really helpful to me. And so especially in those opening few weeks, trying to keep the motivation going uh, to do those exercises and to complete the reps, uh, the app really helps with that. And it stops you as well from cutting corners. And so uh, particularly on the timed exercises, uh, those exercises where you've got to hold something for five seconds, 10 seconds, it really helped to have an app that made sure that I didn't cut the corners, that I didn't uh, skip out on the couple of reps that I was supposed to do. And so uh, that was really helpful to me. I also really love the feature within the app that allowed me to communicate directly with my physio. And so again, especially in those opening few weeks where I had questions about uh, all sorts of different things, both in terms of the physio exercises that I had and then also the targets that I was supposed to reach, being able to message the physio and, uh, and ask those kind of uh, simple questions uh, was really valuable, especially in the middle of a pandemic where I didn't necessarily have the face-to-face -face contact with a physio that I would normally have uh, post-op. Um, I think the other thing that I really liked uh, about the app was the way that it allowed me to uh, measure my progress. And so, again, this is something you probably wouldn't get without the tech. But for example, I was able to see the flexion uh, that my knee was achieving and being able to see those tiny improvements over uh, day by day in terms of uh, both uh, the mobility that my knee had, the strength that my knee had, but also uh, um, the, the, the difficulty and the challenging uh, kind of rate of progress um, uh, with the exercises that I was doing. I found that really helpful. And so to be able to see an exercise that initially I found really hard and really painful, um, be able to then uh, see the progress that I'd made and, and the fact that I had uh, uh, you know, been able to then uh, progress onto more difficult exercises was an easy way of seeing my progress. And as a target oriented person, I found that uh, to be really helpful. And so uh, I'm three months post-op now. Um, I'm able to uh, do uh, uh, an awful lot of things that I was able to uh, envisage and target at, at, at three months. And so uh, I'm back on a bike and uh, I'm uh, up and around. And so that's great. And especially in comparison to those around me who I know have had similar injuries. I've had a brother and a brother-in-law who've both done the same injury, torn their ACL playing football and then had the reconstruction. And in comparison to them, uh, they've been amazed by my progress. They've been amazed at the progress that uh, I, I made uh, both initially after the kind of first uh, month and six weeks, uh, and then at three months as well. And so um, I, I'd be able to kind of point to the tech and be able to see the way that the tech has improved uh, uh, my uh, rehabilitation process has been invaluable. And so uh, if you're a patient considering uh, Denton uh, a kind of tech and the, the, the reflex technology, I'd really consider it. Uh, because as I said, uh, it allows you to uh, communicate clearly with physio, track your progress and stay motivated, uh, especially in those first few weeks uh, afterwards. So that's why I'd recommend using uh, Reflex by Denton Tech. I don't need to tell you that as physios, we are dealing with very difficult times. Many of our colleagues are being redeployed to help on wards or intensive care. Orthopedic surgery has stopped or been delayed. We're being encouraged to avoid face-to-face -face appointments. Patients are terrified of coming into our departments in case they get COVID. Clinicians are being encouraged to do more and more remotely. And waiting lists are now quoted as eight times longer than pre-COVID days. But even before COVID came along, despite the well-known benefits of physio, despite patients' good intentions, we've seen many years as clinicians with patients not adhering to rehab plans, patients missing appointments or cancelling appointments, patients forgetting their exercises or doing something different to what you ask them to do. So let's not see technology as a threat to our profession, but something to help us in these really difficult times.
as a clinician, it's been amazing to get involved in this technology, working with Reflex, working with universities, working with the NHS to try and address some of the challenges that we face as a profession. I'm really excited to be on this journey. I'm really excited to see where we can take this technology within the profession. For me, over the past five months, it's been amazing to see patients using Reflex in the UK and adhering to their rehab protocols, adhering to the advice I've given them, adhering to exactly what I've asked them to do and reaping the benefits of that. As you can see from our testimonials, our patients love Reflex. Some of them can't even turn an iPad on when they start and yet by the end are evangelical about it. We are living in a technological world. Technology is getting better and better. Our patients are getting more and more tech savvy. And if we as a profession don't move with the times and don't embrace technology, it's my concern that we'll get left behind. I think my advice to you all would be get in touch with us, have a conversation, trial the kit and you will see how fantastic it is. If you're a student or a grad or looking for an internship, then feel free to get in touch. We'd love to hear from you. Many of you have asked already or will be asking, what's the evidence for reflex? A number of clinical studies have been completed or are ongoing. The study takes a sample size of 90 OA patients and splits them into three groups, one of which uses the reflex system. So the study is examining the benefits of reflex for improving pain scales, improving health, improving quality of life, um, coordination of treatment processes, alignment of treatment with guidelines and accepted standards, looking at adherence, access to care, improving patient safety, improving health literacy and encouraging patient empowerment and self-management and hopefully reducing um, therapy related efforts and burdens on patients and their relatives. As previously mentioned, Charité University looked at the accuracy of our sensors against the Vicon system and they came within 4% of the gold standard. Also, in a three month study of telerehabilitation using Reflex, significant improvements were found in adherence, quality of life and pain in a sample of 111 knee and hip patients. A number of clinical trials have also been planned or are underway. These include looking at the use of reflex in post-ligament surgery and in total knee replacements. We as a company are really excited at DPT to contribute towards to build and increase the evidence base that's already there. We know that our NHS and our UK academic and commercial partners want and need some UK-based trials that reflect the patient population here in the UK. So with this in mind, we're working rapidly with Swansea Technology College to further the evidence base here on a national scale. We are convinced that we will prove that Reflex is an innovation that can have significant cost-saving effects on our healthcare systems in the UK. So let's summarise the benefits of the technology for you and your patient. In summary then, there is a lower spend. Time and overheads can be saved by the virtual phys physiotherapy. There is an increased capacity therefore for appointments, reduced cost of surgery through better compliance and long-term savings through the avoidance of compensatory injuries, avoiding the need for other surgery perhaps. There's also an improvement to the service that you provide. It's far easier for rural patients, better preparation for surgery, and it just generally improves the patient experience through that care pathway. The app, of course, um, provides proof of service and a record um, of that measurability. I want to talk a little bit about data protection. We understand the importance of privacy and security uh, for our clients, and we very much want to make sure that all our per all the personal data is protected. So all communication between the server and the application is encrypted. Patients have their own unique and individual passwords to access the app, and all data is GDPR compliant, so you can be assured that personal data is safe and secure. 
So as I mentioned at the start, our aim is to provide you with the most up-to-date technology and make it more accessible. We believe we have the potential to deliver big benefits through early supported patient discharge and improving patient flow, efficiency targeted care for the critical weeks post-surgery, and by prioritising resources to the patients that really need it the most. Decrease readmission rates through early identification of developing complications and reducing the number of physiotherapy sessions, and the cost of missed appointments. And also improving patient motivation and engagement with real time feedback, which is frequently cited as being key importance in the post surgical recovery process. Thank you so much for listening. I do hope this has helped uh, you gain a greater understanding of the product and the types of patients that can benefit. We would really value your feedback, of course. I'm sure there will be an opportunity for you to share your experiences and ask us any questions.